Hello and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing you how to change the date format in Smartsheet. So as you can see here I've created a simple sheet and I've entered a couple of tasks that I do want to complete and why not do it with a spot of gardening. So at the moment I've got two tasks that I need to do. So all I've done basically is I've removed out all of the, the blank columns in the sheet and I've also added a new column called date completed because I want to track when I'm doing my gardening activities. So as you'll see here, I've already changed the column to a date format. So in order to do that, all you need to do is you need to right click on the column and you need to edit the column properties. Now, when you get here, you basically want to select date. Um, by default, each column will be created as a text number. So first and foremost, make sure you have date selected and then it is also advised to restrict to dates only. So I have that in place. If you did need this column, then you can always insert a new one. I'm just gonna call it test. Um, and then you could just select date from there. So when it comes to changing the date format, there's a couple of options depending on your needs. Now the easiest way to do so, and before I do this actually, I should probably put some dates in here. So let's say I completed um, mowing the lawn yesterday. Um, and I have also completed it today and I, I trimmed the hedges today. So we've got two dates here, but that might not be in the kind of preference that you need. So all, what you need to do is go to this little icon in the top right, and that will enable you to change the format quite quickly and quite simply. And as you'll see, um, the regional default, I will show you how to change the regional default in a minute. And we do that via our settings. But first and foremost, if you click this, um, icon here in the formatting bar at the top, you will have all of these different options just to, as, as a different way of kind of showing your dates um, depending on what you need. So you can have obviously the, the long version here um, depending on yeah how you want to view your data. Now the second way, so this is a regional preference. Um, it's set up as, as you know, um, in a certain order depending on where you're from. Um, now in order to change your kind of regional preferences, you have to go to your personal settings and you do that by on the left hand panel here, you click your account button and then click personal settings. And when you do this, if you then click the set, the second option, so settings, you will find there's a section at the bottom called regional preferences. So minor set, for instance, for the United States, although there are, dozens of different options depending on you know where you're based and how you're working and, and depending on the kind of stakeholders you're working with. So this, just bear in mind, this is your personal setting. So you can have your settings set to the United States and you could have a stakeholder or a, a project team member um, working in the UK, for instance, and they would have their own preferences. So when you change it in the sheet for yourself, it doesn't change for everyone. So that's one of the benefits of Smartsheet. It's kind of interactive in that way uh, and works depending on your, your bespoke needs. So if I was to change it to English United Kingdom, as you might have told, you might be able to guess from my accent, uh, that's exactly where I'm from. If I hit save, then you should notice that it's going to refresh and it's it might not change it in this format, but if I was to go back to the regional default, you'll see now that, uh, I don't know if you caught that, but the date has moved to the front and the month is now second. So if I was to quickly show you that again, um, if I go back into my personal settings and I change it to the United States, you should find that uh, the month becomes you know first, um, because obviously that's a regional preference of the United States. So hit save, it's gonna refresh, and there we go. So as you'll see, it's month then day. So that's the main two ways of doing it. You've got the, the date format functionality at the top and you also have your regional preferences. So they're the first two places to, to, to kind of go and check and change. And do remember to have your columns in the date formatting and you do that via the column properties. So I hope this video is useful. Please hit the like button if it was and drop a comment down below if you have any questions about this process or if you want me to cover any other topics on Smartsheet in particular. Uh, and if, if you do want to see more videos, then do subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be releasing a lot more videos like this. So with that said, I hope you have an excellent day.